Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is the first installment of a new segment that I'm going to be calling Tenant Tuesdays, where I'm talking directly to people who are renting or possibly landlords that are thinking about renting, Airbnbs, um, hospitality, all of the such. So uh, the laws have been changing pretty drastically since 2019 and it's not looking so good for landlords. So a lot of them have been getting out of the business, especially ones that are private and only own a few homes that they rent out. Um, they've been hit the worst with the changing laws, especially with COVID and uh, the moratorium being extended for so long, they haven't been able to pay their bills. So they've been selling and even moving to different states where it's actually a little bit more accommodating to landlords. So. One of the things that I want to talk about today is the fact that it's so difficult to find a place to rent. Now I am a renter. I rent at a mobile home park here in Shelton, Washington. It's called Mountain View Park and it was recently bought by the current owners back in 2020, September of 2020. And it's been full ever since. Um, I have four years experience in property management. I currently manage the park that I'm at. I'm also a landlord, so I also had you know two tenants there for a while um, that uh, fortunately were considered uh, necessary. So one worked for a food delivery service, and the other one is a phlebotomist at a hospital. So I didn't lose any uh, income there, but many many landlords did, and so now these houses that they used to rent out went on the market and have been sold because they couldn't pay their bills. So the inventory for rentals is very low so all the apartments are full mobile home parks are full RV parks are full and it just seems like there's nowhere to live but uh, here in Washington State Pierce Thurston and I believe King County I know at least in Seattle area they have uh, approved the construction of multifamily housing so hopefully that will relieve some of the pressure um, by at least next year I know this doesn't help many people out right now who are currently looking for a home to rent, um, but these are you know apartment buildings. Um, some of them are tiny house complexes um, in uh, condos, so um, these uh, should open up the market a little bit more, and even out the uh, rental rate. It won't necessarily go down, but it'll stop rising eventually once we have enough inventory for rentals for people to occupy and get in and the demand isn't so high. So uh, one of the things that landlords, whether it's an apartment building or a house or a park, landlords are increasing um, their requirements for tenants um, and the changing laws are a big thing to do with that. So um, on top of bringing rents up to the current market rates, which you can um, you can Google uh, Redfin, Zillow, um, and uh, even my website, and I'll put that in the chat or the in the comments. I'll put a link to that. You can actually see um, the market rates for um, home buying and selling and uh, rentals. So um, on top of bringing things up to market price, they are increasing the credit limit. So your minimum credit limit is going to be about 600 for most places. And um, they'll have, they can't really screen for a criminal. The only thing that they can check for is whether or not you've committed a violent crime, like a sex offense or um, murder. So um, like petty theft, DUI, stuff like that won't show up. They'll be given, uh, you'll be given a score. So some, some um, background check places will only give you a score of one to five, I believe. And wherever you meet there in the middle will determine whether or not um, a landlord will uh, consider you as a tenant, but they cannot see your criminal background if you don't have a really high violent offense on your record. So, um, so they'll go mostly by your credit and your income. So you have to have proof of income for at least um, the last three, they want to say three years, but um, Realistically, if you've been working in the same place or at least the same field for the last year, that looks good as well. Um, and you'll want at least three months of pay stubs to show that you've had that income consistently for at least 90 days. Because these leases now, the minimum lease is six months. Um, some places are still using month to month, but those are quickly going away. So you'll be locked in for at least uh, six months to a year 
So they're going to want to know that you can um, make at least three times the rent that puts you in the safety zone for um, for default. So you're less likely to default if you make three times uh, the rent price um, in your monthly wage. So these are some things to consider. Um, more and more places aren't accepting pets because they cause so much damage. And if they do allow pets, their uh, deposits are high and they even charge pet rent. So that's something else to look, uh, look into as well. There are programs. Um, there's rental assistance programs if you're behind on your rent. Um, each city has their own places that do that. In Shelton, it's Crossroads Housing. The HEN program down at the Community Action Council. DSHS has programs, and I believe that's how you get on through Section 8. Um, the Bremerton Housing Authority is the Section 8 authority for the Mason County area. And so you can get in on a voucher for these places. Uh, that accept it legally they cannot say that they don't I shouldn't, I'm not a lawyer but they can't say that they don't accept it because they're not supposed to reject any form of income um, that's uh, Senate Bill 5600 cannot reject any source of income um, and RCWs will be in the comment section as well so that you can um, click on anything that I reference to so um, the the laws are changing and you really do need to pay attention and educate yourself and not just go by what they say on the news. You need to actually look up your RCW. Um, Northwest Justice is a good resource as well for tenants. Um, the, uh, the laws in Washington mimic California quite often. So um, whenever you see a change uh, in California, when it comes to any any law really but especially landlord and tenant laws you'll you'll end up seeing that here as well so um just to recap rents are hard to find and um but they should be relieving uh here pretty soon with the um with the opening up of building of multifamily housing so that should ease the pressure on finding a rental and rental rates should be evening out once those uh, start going on the market, opening up for rent. And um, so check your credit, know what it is, because you're gonna need that 600 credit score. Um, you're gonna need to make at least three times the rent uh, to qualify for a rental. Um, and then uh, if you have pets, it's gonna be even harder to find a place um, unless you go into like either an RV park or a mobile home park. So um, if you like this video, give it a like. If you want to see more informational videos like this one um, with tenant uh, information, I'll be doing this every week. And you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next Tuesday.